We've gathered a lot of information about this creature's DNA, but so far, we've only managed to reconstruct the head. Post-constructivist, pre-cataclysm, it looks heavy. It's not from my favorite period, to be honest. Ouch, those spines are sharp. The hangar is on the first floor. Petra could help me get hold of a hover jet. I need to talk to Petra. What shall I buy today? Perfect. I'm hungry. Error. ID expired. Drat. I forgot to renew my card. Good morning, Doctor. Hey there, kid. He's reading his own user manual. In public. Ugh. We've discovered dozens of illustrations of this species, but not a single fossil. The Dean insisted we get a hologram, but if you ask me, they're as mythical as Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Whenever I try to pet it, I nearly lose an eye. A chromatic thermometer. They change color with temperature. In extreme cold, the liquid turns purple. You have to be careful though, the colors fix on contact with air. Last winter, one of these exploded in Micro's hands. His face was still blue in the spring. Looks like it's detachable. Carefully now. The hangar, at last. I should be able to find a hover jet here. I need to ask Petra. Hello, Petra. Henry, I was hoping to bump into you. I heard about Total. What the heck? Anything new? No word from the kidnappers. But the security cops will find him. They've kinda closed the case. What? That's why I'm here. We're going to look for him. I really hope he's all right. Total always brings jelly babies to departmental meetings. I can't imagine this place without him. We'll get him back, Petra. We need a vehicle. This is about finding Total, right? Absolutely. Then maybe I won't notice you sneaking out without a flight permit. What kind of bird do you need? Long distance atmospheric travel. Several passengers. Let me see. The bikes are too small for the twins to go with you. Besides, they don't have much range. The whale is grounded for maintenance. And the Vice Dean just took our last two hover jets to the Olympus Mons Fondue Spa. Your only option is that hover jet in the middle. But it's not ours. It's a freelance contractor. You'll have to negotiate with the pilot. I'm on it. Let me know if you need anything else. Hello. What's up, kid? Is this your ship? Yeah. No. Who wants to know? I do. Dr. Henry Dijon. I want to hire your hover jet. Okay. Here's the deal. Discreet service. No questions asked. Special discount for archaeologists. No way! I'm an archaeologist! <laughs> no kidding! This is your lucky day! Where you headed? I don't know the precise destination, but pretty far away. We talking what? 50 clicks here? No, much further. Sector 7. Sector 7? <laughs> Forget it, kid. I don't leave Sector 2. But your hover jet could easily take us to Sector 7. It's not that simple. I'm getting too much heat on the border right now. Damn security cops won't leave me alone. It's enough to make you want to quit smuggling. I mean, I, I shouldn't have said smuggling. Forget I said smuggling. I can't leave because I, uh, I love Sector 2 too much. <laughs> Good old Tui. Go Eagle next, etc. Why are you so jumpy? I don't like those security cops breathing down my neck. I'm just an honest hover jet pilot. But the big house, whew, is full of innocent guys like me. I'll leave you alone. Don't even trust your shadow, kid. A 
Alert! An unidentified subject is approaching, Captain. Execute Protocol A, Lieutenant. Don't you mean Protocol C, Captain? Why? What's A? Use of lethal force. What about C? Rendition for torture. Which is the one where you ask them who they are? Protocol Q. Execute Protocol Q. Affirmative, Captain. You there. Me? Here? Identify yourself. Uh, Dr. Henry Dijon. I'm an archaeologist. You work here, punk? Yeah, I'm head of expeditions in Team Sigma. Sigma? The ones who lost the man in the terrestrial jungle? Yep, that's us. Ah, bad luck, that man. <laughs> the jungle's a dangerous place. Can you help rescue my boss? I've uncovered new evidence about the kidnapping. Good news! We've just received a memo to the effect that the case has been closed. But he's still out there. Do you guys ever actually solve crimes? Yes. As a matter of fact, we rescued a cat from a very large tree only last month. Not us personally, you understand, but we read the memo. That guy by the hover jet looks suspicious. Maybe you should check him out. Put the squeeze on him. He doesn't fit the perp's description, Captain. Haven't you seen the posters? The suspect we're looking for has purple hair. They call him Purple Hair. What if Purple Hair dyed his hair? That would be totally catastrophic for our investigation. No, 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 no. We, we, we can't even consider it. Good luck. Thank you, son. It's got a little black opening. But no keyhole. Hands off! That's Securicop property! I'm sorry, officer. Damn civilians. Always fiddle first, ask questions later. You're damn right, Captain. Go ahead, Dr. Dijon. What do you keep in that blue receptacle? Lost and found items. Correction, item. Since there's only one item in there today. Can I see if it's mine? Yes. I mean, no. How do I know you're not going to take something that doesn't belong to you? Very sharp, that man. So how can I prove the item is mine? Describe the object you've lost, and I'll tell you if it's in the receptacle. Okay. The object I've lost is... Is it an animal? Nope. Not an animal. Is it... edible? Yes. I suppose it's edible. Is it cooked? I wouldn't say cooked, no. It's cold, then. Very cold. Stop that right there. I know your game, Sunshine. Damn it. I almost had it. When you can remember exactly what you lost, come and tell us. Good luck. Thank you, son. Hands off. That's Securicop property. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public disorder, sedition, and assaulting a prize-winning miniature pincher, he beat up a dog. They're an endangered species. What a monster. What's up, kid? Have you seen those wanted posters? That's purple here. He assaulted the mayor's miniature pincher. And I heard he beat up his dog, too. I mean, there's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy to harass honest other jet pilots. But no. Have you lost anything lately? What? Why? Are you a security cop? You gotta tell me. No. The officers over there told me they found a lost item. I thought it might be yours. Sounds valuable. I say we split it 50-50. You win? You want to steal it? Don't go soft on me here, kid. You win or out. I don't want to go to jail. It's a lost and found receptacle, not the Martian Federal Bank. I'm in. Perfect. All I need is a distraction. You find something to draw the security cop's attention, leave the rest to me. I'll leave you alone. Stay sharp, kid. I'm not going near it. Not after the Christmas party. The bikes are no use. They're for short distance travel. Besides, they're too small and too scary. The bikes are no use. Besides, and too scary. I can't take a transport of that size. It's a passenger ship. It's a cryo crate. Hey! The label says FAO Lab C, Expedition Supervisor H. Dijon, 
It's a package for me. It doesn't look like anyone's using it. For the attention of Dr. Shale and Dr. Ruby, they must be in the geology department. There's a package over there with my name on it. Yeah, that's possible. We haven't dealt with the deliveries yet. Could you do it now? Sorry. I have to stick to correct procedure. First thing is a roll call, then a full vehicle clean, and then we do package delivery. I understand. No one values correct procedure more than me. As soon as we finish cleaning the whale, I'll get right onto the deliveries. You missed a spot, boys. You didn't happen to lose something in the hangar. What do you mean? The Secure Corps told me there's an item in Lost and Found. I haven't lost anything. Let me ask around. Hey, have you guys lost anything? Yeah, actually. When I was young, I had this, this, you know, hope that things would get better. Thanks, Ronald. Great job this morning, buddy. We haven't lost anything. I've got to go. Henry. Yes? Good luck. Um, yesterday. Probably. Thank you, Doctor. Good morning, Doctor. The bird woman you were talking to, what did she want? Nothing important. Just asking about Total's disappearance. She was worried, I guess. Did you see a bird woman pass through here? What? No. No one's coming here apart from you. I've got to go. Let me know if you need anything else. This monolith has a fingerprint reader. Identification in process. Fingerprint recognized. Dr. Henry Dijon. Access level 2. Access denied. This terminal requires access level 3. Section managers and technical operators only. Have a nice day. Dr. Dijon. Damn, I could be a level 3. I know Total was about to promote me. Hello? Somebody there? No response. I don't know them. So many students come through the university. Perfect. They suspect nothing. That's Cobra's voice! Got it. The sound must be coming from the upper floor, but our lab isn't even on this side of the building. They're gonna search for Total on their own. No, I got it. I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, I'll be nice to the four-eyed redhead. It's easy to earn his trust. He's never been very smart. Just who is she talking about? I have the coordinates. They are safely stowed in my secret lab. No, in the elevator. Yeah, I got it. And I love it. I miss you too. See you in a few days. Whoa, this place has incredible acoustics. I don't like this at all. Is Cobra spying on us? And what has she got hidden in the elevator? Warning, don't use the goods hoist as a ladder. It's dangerous and leads nowhere. Thank you. Climbing up would be risky. I don't even know what level Cobra was on. There are over 20 floors I don't have access to. But she said she had something hidden in the elevator. I should start there. Touching this ancient wood makes me feel peaceful. I should let sleeping cats lie. This is the foyer window. It's a while since I've been to the basement. It always smells like embalming fluid, but you never know. Henry.
Hi, Frida. Carlotta told me about Total. How could this happen? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the Cabal or the Shadow Government. Of course, they both operate from the hollow core of Mars, so... <gasps> it could be the regular government in cahoots with the Shadow Government. Have you considered they might be in cahoots? My guess is treasure hunters. In cahoots with... Not in cahoots. No cahoots. You're so naive, sweet child. I just hope you find him before the aliens do. Where's the rest of your team? They just left for an expedition, as if we didn't have enough finds from the last one. What did you discover? The remains of a 19th century police station. Lots of firearms, projectiles, the usual. But we also found a few very rare items. It's taken me a week, but I've restored everything. Frida, you're a head of department. What's your access level? I'm level three. Why do you ask? Level three? Wow. Henry, there are a hundred levels. Well, three is good enough for me. There's a monolith near the entrance I need to use. Can you give me access? Absolutely not. I could get fired if anyone found out. But no one will find out. Discretion is my middle name. I didn't know that. That's how discreet I am. I'm sorry, Henry. I just need your fingerprint. I said no. It won't take long. You're not going to convince me. There's got to be a way to get Frida's fingerprint. Please, Frida, help me get access to the monolith. Absolutely not. I just need... I said... Nice flask. I expect you touch it with your fingers all the time. So, can I borrow it? I need it. I'm trying to pour the ionic preservative into the mummy's mouth, but I can't get it open. If I give you a hand with that, how about you give me the flask? Sure, whatever. I got a bunch of flasks. But we have to open the mummy's mouth without damaging the specimen. Done it. Excellent work. It's as if you have an innate connection with ancient things. Are you sure you don't belong to any lodge or secret society? Not to my knowledge. Well, a deal is a deal. Take the flask. I'm finally going to take my break. I don't want to interfere with Frida's investigation anymore. Where bone calcium concentration exceeds 400 parts per thousand, let delta equal mu squared multiplied by the DNA reintegration vector. Interesting approach. By the supreme squid! What perversion of nature do I see before... Wait, I was looking at it upside down. I love this one's haircut. I've got to remember it the next time I get a trim. He looks pretty intense. Interesting. It looks very old. I should examine it carefully. What's this? This looks like a monograph on the art of theft. Shame I can't turn the pages. Apparently, these two picks open practically any modern lock. I guess that would be any 3,000-year-old lock now. This could be useful. I just need to fashion these lock picks. Frida, Frida, can I open this box? If the answer is yes, say absolutely nothing. Terrific. Interesting. The initials GK are on the lid, probably the owner. Let's see what's inside. Very elegant. From the look of it, I'd say it's 20th century. The powder looks like talc, and there's some kind of adhesive tape. I wonder what all this is for. There's an old note attached to the lid. It says, don't forget to take the fingerprint kit. 
Grace N. So, this box is for fingerprinting. Cool, how appropriate. I've got it! Perfect. This is what I need. I'll only find my own fingerprints. No, thank you. I did a whole semester on ancient handguns. They've never been my favorite kind of relic. Someone else was obsessed with them though. Who was that? Oh yeah, Micro. It's just an empty cardboard box. Frida, Frida, can I uncover this mummy? If the answer is yes, say absolutely nothing. Great, I knew I could count on you. If I wiggle it out a little, maybe I can read the label. Supreme Squid! I broke it! Most of the casing is still stuck inside the holster. Still, let's see what we've got here. I estimate that the cylinder was about 15 centimeters long before it broke. <laughs> the contents have long since decayed, but I'd say it used to contain a potent chemical. The label is still intact though. Old smoky smoke bomb. Range of action 3 meters. Non-toxic and hypoallergenic. Then comes a list of its chemical ingredients. They don't look so dangerous. I could build a new smoke bomb with this recipe if I could find the ingredients. And I'd need a new cylindrical casing and fuse, of course. I'll take this fragment. Clean robot! Clean like the wind! Error zero, zero, 006. Nothing ever just works. I don't know why I'd want that. Frida! Enjoy your break. looks slightly like Kalata, a mixture between Kalata and a Psycho Clown, but definitely more like Kalata. Hey, look! I managed to reconstruct a portrait of you from the bones in the archive. Is that supposed to be me? Looks like a mugshot of my evil twin. Did you show it to anyone else? I didn't think anyone else would be interested. I'll take that picture, please. Run along and do your thing. This face doesn't look... I'm sure I can do better if I... This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. This reminds me of someone. I've seen this face before. This printout could be useful. It looks so familiar. I could doctor the photo, but drawing from life would be better.
I could alter the temperature of the chromatic thermometer. I should be able to make it reach purple. Now I need to add a reference sample. Micro, what happened to the lab icebox? It went kablooey in the last blackout. Sorry, I can't get spare parts until next week. You'll have to find a refrigerant somewhere else. Hmm. The ice cubes have changed the color of the thermometer. Hmm, this eucalyptus breath spray might help. It worked. The temperature dropped. Luke, what access level are you? I'm level two, Henry, just like you. Too bad. I need someone who's level three. Have you asked Petra? I know how to open the security cupboard in the hallway. Oh, yes? I found an old thief's manual in the morgue. How old? Uh, 3,000 years. Ah, <sighs> this is your trowel all over again. Do you really expect to circumvent state-of-the-art security using 20th century tech? We'll talk when it works. Back to work. No time to lose. Luke is just the person I need. Luke, I need help making one of these. What is it? It's a very old device called a smoke bomb. Sounds dangerous. Deadly dangerous. Not at all. According to the label, the smoke is harmless. Look, you can still read the ingredients. Huh, doesn't look too dangerous. Can you make it? Let me see. I think so. The components are fairly common chemicals. Give me a minute. Done. This is just the powder. You'll need a casing to put it in. I'm working on it. I don't know how it happened, but my ID has expired. Did you remember to renew it? No, I forgot. Then you know how it happened. Kalada sent out a reminder weeks ago. Don't be angry, Kalata, but my official ID has expired. Henry, you told me you were going to renew it before we went on the expedition. I know, I know. Well, okay. I'm sure we can work this out. I'll call HR. I'm sure they'll help if I'm super polite. I don't know if you're in the best state to call HR. <sighs> I'm excellent to call. I have a good feeling. Trust me. Try not to get fired, please. In the meantime, I need to see your latest paycheck to renew your ID. I don't have my latest paycheck. Total was supposed to send it to me when we got back from the expedition. Well, he won't be able to send it now. You'll have to find it another way. They're contracts and official university papers. I'm sure my payroll must be in here. You should find my latest paycheck enclosed. Let me see. Here it is. Mm. You should ask for a raise. I think that's everything I need. I'll hang on to your expired ID too. I'm going to send these papers to headquarters. I don't think it will take long to reactivate your old card. Give me a minute. Oh, done. Here you are. Thank you very much, Kalata. This panel is slightly different from the rest. It looks like it can be removed, but my fingers are too big. I can't take it off with my bare hands. Perhaps a sharp, precise blow from a trowel. Perfect, let's see what's underneath. What's happening? It's malfunctioning. Looks like Cobra has modified the elevator so it goes haywire when you remove the panel. I'm somewhere between the first and second floors. I need a flathead screwdriver to open it. I need a flathead screw. I need a. Fl it's too thick to fit in the screws.
What shall I buy today? Perfect. I'm hungry. Let's see. What do I want? I'll take a turnip. The perfect healthy snack. It looks fresh. What shall I buy today? I'll take the sashimi. It looks so familiar. I could doctor the photo, but drawing from life would be better. What's up, kid? I'll leave you alone. Stay sharp. It's a good likeness, at least in the nose and mouth, but the eyes aren't right. Yeah. I think I could retouch it to make it look more like the pilot. Are you saying something, kid? No, no, nothing. Don't move. The pen ran out, but it was worth it. Now it looks like a picture of the pilot, although he's no oil painting. I'm an artistic genius. Maybe this could help me hire his hover jet. Hey, look what I found. Where did you get this? The security cops? Uh, yeah. B -b how? I got no criminal record in Sector 2. Maybe it's time for you to get out of town. I hear Sector 7 is a great place to lie low. Nah, if I run, I'll only attract their attention. I gotta be smart about this. Let's see them find me now. Pretty good disguise, huh? <laughs> There's no way they'll recognize me now. Hmm, this dice spray still has the security tag on. I think it's stolen. What are you doing, kid? Um, can I borrow your die? Meh, I owe you for the heads up. Sure. What's up, kid? I'll leave you, but you never saw me. Go ahead, Dr. Dijon. That guy by the hover jet looks suspicious. Haven't you seen the posters? The suspect we're looking for has purple hair. Good luck. Thank you, son. Identification in process. Fingerprint recognized. Dr. Frida Bubblegum. Access level 3. Access granted. Have a nice day, Dr. Bubblegum. Nano-engineered Martian apples taste a little woody, but hey, free apple. Splendid. I can't even see the branches. An archaeologist can always use rope. I thought that would be easier. Only a small length of rope came free. I guess it'll have to do. Luke has managed to recreate the chemical components of the smoke bomb, following the information on the casing, but I still need a new casing and fuse. The straw looks pretty similar to the original casing. I think I could make a homemade smoke bomb out of it. That's it! It's packed in a little tight, but it looks good. It's too thick to be used as a fuse. I'm going to try to pull out a strand. <clears throat> I can't do it with my bare hands. I could try to separate a strand from the rest of the rope. <clears throat> it's not working. I need something finer.
I could pull out a small strand using one of those spikes. Let's see. Great. I managed to draw out a single strand, but now... Oh, wow. I tightened the knot more. Give me back my rope, damn you! Well, I never liked that rope. It would make a good fuse, but it won't light as it is. I need something to keep the flame burning all along the length of it. Well, I can always get more food from the vending machine. I brought you a turnip, Cobra. I know you like healthy food. Is that a Martian vegetable? No, no. I got it out of the food dispenser in the foyer. I guess there's no reason for me not to eat it. No reason not to. Okay, then. Right. So, I lost my turnip. Cobra only eats 100% natural fruit. It would be very fun to trick her, but also very dangerous. Trevor! Food! You spoil him, Henry. But it's just that he gets so happy. Here, Trevor. That's a good idea. His speciality is reshaping metal. The paperclip is just the kind of metal Trevor is good at working. Make a star, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. It's a perfect star. Trevor, I need you to make the star into a new shape. Make it flat, Trevor. Thanks for the help, Trevor. It's a very original shape. Trevor's great at working metal. I just need to let him know how I want to transform it. Turn it into a heart. Great, Trevor. That's just what I needed. Trevor, I'm gonna need to change this heart. Make it flat, Trevor. Thanks for the help, Trevor. Your work is so interesting. These bits of metal are very similar to the illustrations in the lock picking book. There we go. Now I should be able to open any lock, at least any lock from 3000 years ago. That's a good idea. His speciality is reshaping metal. A screwdriver is mostly metal. Make it flat, Trevor. Great. Now I have a flathead screwdriver. It has a high security elect- Survival kits are very expensive. To get access, you need a lot of boring permits. I hope Trevor's work wasn't in vain. Careful.
Oh no, oh no, oh no. Huh? Well, there's no denying that the door is open. Great. There's one survival kit in there. I'd better get out of here before anyone sees me. Let's see. I still need to find out where Total's being taken and find a ride. <laughs>